What's this here? The so front the, row. This is still, this is just seeded right now. With what? Uh, collard greens. Okay. So we just have a few weeds that are coming up. But, and this is a uh, broccoli rod. This is all broccoli rod. So we have out three rows of broccoli. Three rows? Rod. Okay. We didn't have exactly the best. Um, or it's four rows of broccoli rod. What's the next row? This is spinach. Spinach right here. These little ones that look, have the little mm -hmm. things you can see, tiny spinach leaves. So we've got a This is what, cabbage? There. Yep, Napa cabbage. <laughs> got four of those. And, and you put a little path in between. Yep. What's here? And these are kale. So how long before those are like grown? Probably like another Beginning of the summer? month. Month? In a month, month and a half <clears throat> before we can start eating mm -hmm. completely, steadily. And then this is kohlrabi. Kohlrabi is the, um, we had that the other night, right? No, it's like that turnip. Oh, the turnip, the right. That has like the long leaves. We've got a lot of those. And then what do you add? So kohlrabi, you add it to salad or? You can stir fry it. You can add a salad. You can eat it. You can eat it raw as well. Okay. Logan. Always a ruin, ruining everything. What's this here along the trellis? Uh, these are peas, snap peas. Okay. So the whole they'll grow right up to the top of the trellis. Yeah. So they'll climb up. You can see right here how it's getting tall, and it sends out these little threads. Mm -hmm. These are like fingers. So they grab on. Eventually, they'll they they circulate throughout the day like this, and eventually they'll touch onto this <clears> and grab onto it like fingers, and then start growing up. So the whole the whole uh, this whole row is peas right. Here. One little kohlrabi plant that I saved from the other one. What's here? And then this is daikon radish <clears throat> cover crop in the back, the white flowers. Mm -hmm. and That's all radish? All radishes. <clears throat> so they're, when? They're not for eating, they're for maintaining the soil because we're going to plant our tomatoes. Ah, over okay. Here. When, are you, when are you going to plant the tomatoes? Um, we're going to do two, two tomato plants per trellis. Um, so we're waiting on our cherry tomatoes to come in the mail, but I think probably... The another, seeds three, or the three plants weeks, itself? The ones that have started inside. Oh, they're started inside. Yeah, those ones in the in the shed. I mean, in the closet. And these are all fava beans. So fava beans are like um, like the Japanese beans you get? The, the, those are like edamame, like soybeans. Right. beans. Fava beans are huge. Like each bean is like this big around that. Wow. And you can dry them and they're meaty. You can eat them raw, you can stir fry them, you can uh, dry them and salt them. So how often are you down here maintaining? Every you come day. down once a day? Yeah, at least. Do you know a lot of the other farmers? Yeah. Gardeners? Yep. We're, it's an active community garden, so we get emails and communications. With so you have, it has its own, like, uh, email site or whatever? Yep. And we have a Facebook group, and we also have a seed bank where we trade seeds. Oh wow. It's pretty cool. And this this path back lot right here, this was given to somebody that didn't maintain it. I seeded that with cover crop last year. Uh-huh. Um, but it looks like because the person's not gonna maintain it that we'll we'll be getting part of this lot. So what do you have to put in for it or I already asked for it. So, I think so is it is this stuff free or it's twelve dollars a year for a half plot, twenty for a full plot. What do you what do you have? Full? Half. Half? So we'll be upgrading to a full, which means that we'll take this, basically what we have here, the same width, but double the way right, back. Right. So we'll start growing some other root vegetables and stuff that we don't have room for right now. Nice. You can bring your own tools and stuff like that, and they have stuff yeah, in the shed? They have a tool shed, too. Yep. Oh, that's a tool shed in the back there. They have tools. They, don't have, they have hand tools, and they have power tools. So they've got lawn mowers, tillers, small tillers. And you could tillers. use them? Yep. As long as you get trained on how to use them so you don't, you know, shred mm -hmm. your shins or something like right. that with the tiller. It's very productive garden, that one. It's fully going in the late Looks spring, like, early summer. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, that's your plot right here. Mm -hmm. We tried. Well, the, oh, yeah. I was gonna say this plot here. This is all one person. This whole 
Wow. It's a couple, yeah. yeah. Right here, from here, all the way across? Yeah, from here all the way over That's here. all their stuff? Yep, and then over this way too. So it looks like they grow a lot of stuff here. They do, but you'll notice how, you know, when you have a small amount of space, which I still consider this to be a small amount of space for growing vegetables, even if you have two of these combined, you really have to worry about space maximization. Mm -hmm. And I, I wouldn't consider this an efficient use of space. Right, they just have the yeah. mostly walking area. Right? Yep. Yeah, because they put down a lot of the black fabric. This year they started, um, this year they actually started growing in the ground. So normally they've filled that up with their own soil. They that looks like what? Um, it's lettuce. Red think. lettuce or yeah. something? They've got some lettuces right here too that just came up probably yesterday. Those little, mm -hmm. little, little green ones. Very nice. Yeah. I like it. I mean, yeah, for being in the like the city and having this area, it's been fantastic. It's a big. It's all big gated in, garden. fenced in. Well, this is Rock Creek Park. Yeah, this is federal. So it's part of Rock Creek Park. Yep, it's okay. run by the National Park Service. So National Park Service. So they like let the let the people use it. Yep, they like lease it out for free, basically, or a dollar a year or something. Nice. Um, so we have a compost center in the back too. Mm -hmm. shed, community compost. Uh, wheelbarrows and hoses and everything that you know tarps and other things that people need to get started very nice very cool good stuff yeah and the water lines are running yeah yeah we have all of those so when everything breaks you we have community garden days where we mm -hmm. go and we are assigned um, tasks that we have to do to maintain so that means someone ran a wheelbarrow into one of the spigots and breaks it you know oh so you we guys have to learn how, make somebody fix it or? we all have to learn how to fix stuff <clears throat> so we can all maintain a certain number of volunteer hours mm -hmm. a year that we have to do too very nice so there you go guys gardening in the city washington dc pretty cool setup here for people um good to see this too good use of the land well thanks guys for joining me so that's the uh, gardening here in the DC area take care stay ready